What's up guys, Zeb Nation here, driving and vlogging for the first time. Welcome back to Choo Choo Training. And I'm just gonna go and talk, first before I start training, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what's been going on. Like last time I released a video, I was talking about how my exams were killing me. I was eating one meal a day, and that meal a day would consist of either a triple cheeseburger from Burger King, like Big Macs, but chickens, and all that shebang. Like, it was killing me, it was destroying me. Staying up till about 5 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 9 the next day, basically the same day. But like, that routine just destroyed me. I couldn't keep up with it, and it caused me to lose like a lot of my strength, a lot of my mental, like I was mentally fatigued. And now it's been a week since, a week and a bit since I've released a video, maybe two weeks even. Yeah, probably two weeks. And I've been on a program that my friend gave me and I'm on the second week at the moment and it's actually really good. Like, I've been progressing. A concept I didn't even understand was like reps in reserve. Like the first training block, I think the first training session, I was really confused. I was really confused about reps in reserve meant, but then like, I'm slowly grasping it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm, <laughs> this is not lifting related, but like, if, if you see my other video, like I was, I drive a Celica GT4, we're low, like that car is low on the ground. Like I'm in my mom's SUV and I'm I'm actually kind of like astonished how fucking high in the air I am at right now. Like a Suzuki Swift just drove by and it fucking looks like an ant. Like holy shit, this is so high up in the air. Turning is scary because I feel like I've never had this problem in my GT4, but in my Celica, but I feel like when I turn I'm about to flip over. Like I'm currently stuck in roadworks at the moment, but so I'm not gonna experience any of that anytime soon. But moving along. Um, something that like needs to be addressed. Like I'm training in Wellington now because this I've come back home for break. Training up in one of the local gyms, and with that being said, like it's pretty like it is pretty bad. Like spotters, like we all know that drill. Like back in Auckland Uni, like I had people, friends who helped spot. They knew what they're doing. Here, it's not going so well. Yesterday, yesterday. Oh no, yesterday, the, the day before. I'll talk about yesterday as well. That people who are spotting me, they're not really doing a good job. I've had a guy spot me for 100 kgs. Like, not many people bench 100 a year, which is kind of a shocker. Well, but then he looked kind of scared. Like, he thought I couldn't do it, which in the past I can. But then he held onto the bar the whole way. I told him to try and let go, and yet again, he freaking just held onto the bar, up down, up down. I told, the I told him to stop holding it, but he said, nah, all you, bro. And that really angered me. Thank God, like, one of my friends came along, like, Kevin came along. You guys don't know Kevin, but he he's one of the pilots in, in Auckland Uni, and thank God he came along, because he knew how to spot properly, knew how to give a proper handoff, and hand out, hand off, hand out. Fuck, anyway. Moving on. So yeah, stuff like that. And one of the worst things that happened so far was my phone just comes home. One of the worst things was is when I started squatting. Like, I'm sorry, the phone's in a cup holder. But like, when I was squatting, some guy, I also like squat. I was squatting 170 reps in reserve. I was pretty frightened. Like, I'm still, I'm not comfortable squatting. Like, for all those, I'm gonna make a video on this, but I almost broke my hand through squatting, which is pretty strange. But this dude. I asked him for a spot. He said he knew what he was doing. I decided to squat. When I squat 170, I sunk down into the hole. And as I was sinking down, he grabbed my elbows, thinking that I just collapsed inside. That collapsed in the squat rack, causing me to flip over. Basically, the whip, the weight, the whip, the weight to flip over, roll up my neck, and then just back down. Like, I, I had no idea what was going on there. He continued to insult me, saying like, oh, I thought you could actually squat that weight and then proceeded to tell everyone how I just fucked up and it was him. Like, I, I don't, like, I can't, I don't want to put, I don't like putting blame on people, but dude, like, as I was sinking down, you don't catch me, okay? Like, I was sinking down, and then you grabbed me as I was just, I didn't even reach the hole yet, and you just grabbed me. Like, that's gonna cause a lot of problems, dude. But, he probably doesn't watch his videos. I don't have many subscribers, so he's not probably watching this video. <laughs> so, Moving on to what I was going to say about yesterday, I have injured my back. My back is in a lot of pain. 
it was a lot of pain but now I am on some good old Panadol and my back is not pain and painful at the moment uh, in pain, back in painful sorry my Filipino side my fresh off the boat Filipino side came out yes came out just then but yeah he decided like I'm not he's fuck I'm not ranting over dude, dude that person is just looking looking at me because I'm randomly talking into nothing there's no one else in this car but I am talking like a madman but what I was gonna say was fuck, I already lost my train of thought oh no 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 yes yesterday I injured my back playing basketball, not even playing, warming up. I was doing a layup and I threw, pulled something on my back, just a simple layup. And that hurt like shit. And this morning it didn't hurt like shit, but took a panadol just to like keep it safe. And I'm going to gym today and doing some benching. So hopefully not much straight on my lower back. This is going to be fun when it's deadlift tomorrow. And my phone leveled itself out in a couple of it. So I've been eating, I have no weighing scale at home, the weighing scale I just bought broke, and that's a bit chilly, right? So, oh, sorry about that, but like, yeah, my back, like, there's another pain, I've been like, what the fuck's going on? Okay, this, this isn't going so well, <laughs> anyways. Like, I'm eating as much as I can, trying to get my strength back, trying to get as much strength back and train as hard as I can, following my program, till nationals, still building up the nationals, we're only a couple of weeks out till nationals, and I am shitting myself, so hopefully we do well, and I just noticed, just looking at the camera, I am a locked character again, like, you have to unlock me, because I'm just so damn dark in this video, so, next video, next thing you're going to see is just me training, so, hopefully it goes well. <laughs>